Hey everybody, this is Venomous and welcome to Explore VR, where we explore the metaverse. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can take an avatar that you created using Ready Player Me, customize it in Unity, and then upload it to VR Chat. First thing I'm gonna I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the VR Chat website and I'm gonna download the Avatar SDK. Next, I'm gonna to go to the Ready Player Me website. I'm going to go to my avatar, so I'm going to hit the dot 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 to the right of my avatar, the one that I want to download, or edit, and I'm going to download the FBX file. Next, I'm going to rename it to something meaningful. And then I'm going to go to the Unity Hub and I'm going to create a new project. I'll do the same thing here, I'm going to give this a meaningful name. go boom there's my project first thing i'm going to do after the project is uh, created is i'm going to import the avatar sdk into the project i'm going to hit import bada bing bada boom and then i'm going to import the avatar or new asset avatar FBX file. Super simple, but you'll see a problem. The avatar has no color. All right, if you're not, it's an easy, easy fix. So what we're gonna do is we're going to extract textures. And I'm gonna create a folder here called textures. Be enough. Select folder. Fix now. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for extract materials. Materials folder. All right, good to go so far. All right, next I'm gonna to go to rig, and I'm gonna change the animation type from generic to humanoid, and I'm gonna hit apply. Awesome. And then I'm gonna drag my avatar into the actual project itself, into the scene. Here we go. So now to, to actually VR chat enable the avatar, I'm gonna add the VRC avatar descriptor. I'm gonna change the lip sync mode to Visine blend shape. I'm gonna select my face, uh, my face mesh, which is the only option that I have there. And then I'm gonna make some corrections and, and fix the mappings here uh, of the Visine. FF, Vicene E, I, Vicene O, O, o then Vicene U. Then for iLook, I'm going to hit enable. And I'm going to ignore the sliders there because uh, it'll. Um, change the way that your avatar behaves. Um, so I'm gonna go to eyes and I'm gonna select the left eye bone. And we'll do the same thing for the right eye. Then eyelids, I'm gonna change my eyelid type, blend shapes. Here's where I select the mesh. And the only option that I have here and then blend shape uh, states. So blink for blink, we're gonna do uh, eyes closed. There's no eyes blink. For a look, for a look up, I'm gonna do eyes look up. And then for look down, I'm gonna do eyes look down. Super simple. And we're almost done. So I'm gonna click on that guy right there. Then I'm gonna do the edit that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the shader just cause I like the shader a little bit better. And then I'm gonna change uh, uh, the, uh, the view position. So the view position is important because this is how, uh, basically your eyes within uh, when you're using the avatar. So if this is too low, your view is gonna be super low. So I'm gonna get this to around eye, uh, eye height and really close to my, uh, to my forehead. Again, this is where I'm gonna be looking for, or where you're gonna be looking. For. Okay, 
And those are the edits that I have to do. So perfectly centered, looking good. Excellent. Save that bad boy right there. And we are ready to upload. I've already logged on. Build and publish for Windows. When you do this, you're going to have the option to uh, give the avatar a name, putting in the description, etc. I'm going to fast forward through all that. Boom, okay. All right, and now let's take a look. This is the uh, old avatar. Here's the white shirt avatar that I have. Look, it works, right? Now I'm using the new shader that I wanted to use. Awesome. Thumbs up, everybody. Fantastic. Well, and that's how you do that, guys. That's how you uh, take an avatar from Ready Player Me, import it into Unity, tweak it, uh, and then upload it back up into Yarchat. Um, you know, there's other additional tweaks that you could do to the avatar. You could actually uh, edit the textures. Uh, so if you wanted to, so for example, one of the things that I will be doing to this uh, avatar a little bit later uh, is I'm going to be uh, creating a custom logo that I'm going to be uh, adding to the shirt. So I'll have a, a totally customized, so well, not totally customized, but you know what I mean? I'll have an even more customized avatar uh, that I can use. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, if you found it useful, please uh, hit the bell and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for dropping in, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye now.